Do you love Italian food like me? Would you love to be able to cook authentic, delicious meals straight from a traditional Italian kitchen and pair amazing wines with them? Well, hang in there because today I am sharing a great underdog region that has both of these things, amazing cuisine and fantastic wines. Hi there, I'm Jacqueline Favera, where we go around the world searching out wild and scarce wines to bring to the US for consumers, businesses, and distributors. And these are wines and extra virgin olive oils that are made with passion by small artisan farmers in famous places. And they're off the beaten path neighbors. I was a chef for over 10 years at a local trattoria in the famous Lange area of Italy. And while Lange classic cuisine is a video for another day, you should actually subscribe if you want to be notified when we do share that. I do want to zoom in on a neighbor of the Lange, the off the beaten path neighbor, the Monferrato. I'll link after all of this, a video on the Monferrato for you to check out. But suffice it to say, this is an area in the Northern Italian region of Piedmont. It is characterized by amazing culture and history, but more importantly for us, good food and good wine. The wines that you can find in the Monferrato are actually very varied from sparkling to still, white to red, sweet to dry. There really is a wine for every palate and every plate. So today we are going to give you ideas to make a classic Italian meal from start to finish with four classic recipes from the Monferrato and the wines that pair with them. Plus, stick around to the end for a bonus wine cocktail to start off your evening. All of the following recipes will be linked below in the description, but you can find them all on the Vero blog on verovino.com, including a printable download that you can use in the kitchen. Let's get started. Antipasto appetizer. We start off our Monferrato meal with a simple yet flavorful salad an insalata di pollo, if you will, with a base of oil and herb marinated chicken or rabbit if you wanna stay super traditional. You can add local hazelnuts, a cheese, and a simple piece of celery. This dish is easy to whip together, light to start off a meal with, and it pairs great with a sparkling traditional method wine like an Alta Langa. Bonus points too for using a really good extra virgin olive oil. Primo, Pasta. Now comes the dish you might associate with the most classic Italian dishes, the pasta. The wild Monferrato has a lot of great mushroom hunting opportunities and dishes like lasagnette noodles with a mushroom sauce or lasagnette con sugo di porcini are common to see in the area. It's a dish that pairs great with wines like the Barbera de Asti that has a lot of fresh acidity, but is also nice and fruity. And here, make your pasta at home for a little extra oomph of wow factor. Secondo entree. Ah, the classic pot roast, or in the Monoferrato, arrosto alle nocciole. This is a roast with hazelnuts. Hazelnuts are very big in both the Lange and Monferrato. In fact, the famous Ferrero that makes Nutella with hazelnuts, the Rocher with hazelnuts is from Alba, in fact. But if we take those hazelnuts, grind them up into a paste, and then add them to your pot roast sauce, you can have a delicious classic Monferrato meal. A long simmered pot roast with a hazelnut sauce is just the thing to pair with a Nizza DOCG or kind of like a Barbera Reserva. Dolce dessert. Anyone up for pie? Or rather, crostata. This is an easy to make dessert that is made from essentially two components, a sweet sugar cookie-like pie crust and jam. It's a staple that Italian grandmothers master for their ease and versatility of it. You can use whatever jam you want and bonus points if you make your own jam, which is not as hard as it seems. It pairs well with Monferrato classic sweet wines like the slightly bubbly Moscato d'Asti and Bracchetto di Acqui. Swap out your jams like peach and apricot goes great with Moscato or personally, I love a great strawberry jam with Bracchetto. All of these recipes that I've mentioned before and so many more recipes and wine pairings are all available on the Vero blog at verovino.com. From appetizers to pastas, entrees, desserts, the Vero blog is a great resource to find a wealth of wine-related knowledge and recipes. 
Each recipe will include a recommended wine pairing, available for purchase in the Vero shop, and a downloadable recipe card, ready to print out to follow along with in the kitchen or at the grocery store. To stay up to date on all of our recipes and wine knowledge that we share on the Vero blog, be sure to sign up for the newsletter at verovino.com that I'll have linked below. We always send out a quick announcement whenever we post new content. So by signing up for the newsletter, you'll never miss a recipe, article, or announcement about new wines that are available for purchase in the Vero shop. Oh, and I almost forgot our bonus cocktail. Followers of this channel might already know this, but Brachetto makes an awesome cocktail. Mix it up with a little Prosecco and some other fresh ingredients for a great spritzer-like cocktail that is light and fruity delight. Again, that recipe is on the Vero blog, or you can check out our video where the Vero founder, Sheila Donahue, walked us through how to make a Brachetto spritz. I'll have it linked down below. Thanks for joining me today. Before you head off to verovino.com to get the recipes and start cooking up a storm, please leave us a like below and subscribe. And now, I'm not going to keep you chefs any longer, but while you cook Monferrato cuisine, you might be interested in watching this video all about the Monferrato. I'll see you there. Bye!